I wanted to talk to, today, to you today about the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. I wanted to talk a little bit about what the virus is. So it is a respiratory illness that can spread from person to person. And I'd also like to point out that coronavirus refers to a group of viruses, but the novel coronavirus that is spreading today is referred to as COVID-19. And I would also like to say that symptoms are similar to SARS, which is severe acute respiratory syndrome. I wanna talk a little bit more about what the virus is. You may have the virus up to two to 14 days before the symptoms start. That's referred to as the incubation period. So you may have been exposed and you have the virus, but you don't have symptoms yet. And also symptoms start to peak between days eight to 10. The virus can live on surfaces up to nine days. They can also cause symptoms that are more severe than the flu. However, symptoms can range from mild to severe and 80% of those infected experience mild symptoms. Symptoms include fever, cough, fatigue, runny nose, body aches, sore throat, and shortness of breath. Should you experience any shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, please call 911 and go to the hospital. I wanna talk about also how the virus is transmitted. It enters through the nose, mouth, or eyes in the form of droplets. I would also like to point out that pets are not carriers of the virus, but that they can have droplets on their fur. There is also limited spread from person to person in the community in the US as of now. However, there is some evidence of community spread, but the most at risk are travelers and those who have come into contact with exposed individuals. The treatment for this virus includes over-the-counter medications, Tylenol for fever, Coracidin HBP for congestion, and there's limited evidence on the use of ibuprofen, so we recommend Tylenol and decongestants for your symptoms. We also recommend that you monitor your temperature, anything greater, temperature greater than 99 degrees, report to a medical professional so they can monitor you. We also recommend rest in fluids, try to get in six to eight glasses of water a day. There are currently no treatment, no drugs, for the virus and there is no vaccine, but they are both currently in development. I would also like to note that Tamiflu is not effective against the virus. I wanna talk about how you can protect yourself as well. We recommend the most important thing is always to wash your hands, to avoid contact with people who are sick, to also avoid touching your face so that the droplets can't enter your mouth or nose or eyes. Try not to stress and try to relax as much as possible because stress can actually suppress the immune system and your ability to fight any infection. And we also recommend avoiding non-essential travel. I also wanna talk about how you can prepare yourself. We recommend to get a thermometer so that you can monitor your temperature. We also recommend maintaining a supply of food enough for up to two weeks and over-the-counter medications for any emergencies or symptoms that you may have to manage. I also recommend staying as healthy as possible, eating a balanced diet, having a restful night's sleep every night, and taking regular walks and exercising. We also recommend keeping chronic medical conditions under control. We wanna let you know also that we are here for you. If you are sick, you can call the medical center and we will check on you and monitor your symptoms. We take care of anything that you need. We recommend staying at home and using over-the-counter medications and drinking plenty of fluids, rest, and getting a new toothbrush if you have any symptoms that start to arise. As I recommended before, if the symptoms are severe or you have difficulty breathing, call 911. And I would also like to say that there is emergency aspirin, Aleve, ibuprofen at the community's office at the retirement village, and it can be delivered if needed. If you do test positive for the virus, we recommend home isolation and treating with the medications that you have at home and remaining at home as much as possible. So we recommend a self-quarantine for 14 days if you do have the virus, or we recommend no contact with others until you have no fever for 72 hours without the use of Tylenol. Also, if symptoms have improved but persisted, despite no fever for 72 hours. We recommend wearing a mask for 14 days. Thank you for listening. I would just like to remind you of some important points. The most important thing is hand washing and ensuring that you don't touch your face. Try to avoid traveling and people who are sick so that nothing can spread to you. I also wanna let you know that we are here for you. If you have symptoms and they are mild, stay at home and try to treat it at home. But if you do have any shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, call 911. And I wanna remind you not to panic, that we will get through this together. Thank you.